yeah, 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 you're back once again with your boy BLA, The Hustler. For those of you who don't know me, I'm an independent rap artist. I'm a hip hop performer and music producer straight out of Asbury Park, New Jersey, also known as Dark City. So subject at hand that we're gonna discuss right now is called Do Not Sell Your Music. And this is my rebuttal to Damien Keys. He's a, a very popular, you know, video videographer on YouTube, also known as a YouTuber. Um, he's a, like a self known as a music expert. And I do like most of his videos. I like almost all of his videos, except the one that said the two videos. He did one called Don't Sell Your Music. Then he did a follow up to that. I don't like those videos. And the reason I don't like those videos is because he told a lot of stuff on that video that is simply 100% not true. The uh, number one thing that he said that wasn't true was that nobody is buying uh, music nowadays. Like they're not buying, especially CDs and cassettes. Number two, he said, um, New cars do not have CD players anymore. Therefore, it's just illogical to sell CDs. He said that with his own words. New cars don't even have CD players e anymore. Are those two things three? I mean, uh, <laughs> are those two things tr true? Okay. Are those two things true? Is it true that no one's buying CD? Is it true that no new cars have, have CD players? That's what we're going to jump into. And I want you to make sure you listen to this whole CD all the way to the end, because when we get towards the end, I have a special announcement to make. And don't try to speed it up to the end like some of you are planning to do, I know, cause you, so you can hear the special announcement, because you're going to miss the whole entire point of this video. Also, it improves the alg algorithm that if you watch it from the beginning to the end, then I will get credit for time watched and Google and YouTube will push my video further up on the search engine. And I want to say good looking out for everybody who's planning to watch the whole video and help a brother out and stuff like that. And while we're in the middle of this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If this is the type of subject matter that you want to be hearing more of in the future, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and do not forget to share this video because I want everybody to see this video. Now, back to my boy, Damien Keys. So my name is VLA, The Hustler. You can see my name right here on my shirt. And <laughs> so <clears throat> the subject this hand is don't sell your music. And it's a reply to Damien Keys. And number one uh, fact I want to get to, into was, are people buying CDs anymore? He said, no, people are not buying CDs anymore. So I made a CD in 2017 and it's called True Legend of the Ultimate Hustler. And this is the CD right here. Just wanted y'all to see what it looks like. Um, I did it. I took, a, I took CDs like this and I ran the copies off, put my autograph on it. And then I put the, uh, the songs on here and uh, the contact information, which was through social media at the time right here. So you see how many tracks is on it. So this CD did tremendous in 2017. As a matter of fact, I'm still selling the CD and right now it's February, 2021. And this CD is still selling and going strong. But Demon Key said nobody buys CDs. But anyway, people are still buying this CD and it sells is going strong. So also in 2021, my newest CD was produced by me. For, Produced by me and all the songs by me. This is a mixtape. It's called The Streets Is On Fire. And this CD really is on fire because this is actually one of the hottest selling mixtapes now on the streets. And yes, people on the streets are still buying this. So I took his his uh, his message to the test to see if people were still buying CDs. I mean, they were still buying this one. Why wouldn't they buy the newer one? So I went out on the street. I, I printed out 500 copies of this. I went on the street and I started approaching people. And, I would, and this is my strategy. When I see people going to stores, stores back and forth, they could be going to a grocery store, a laundromat, a liquor store, 
any type of stores or any type of places like that. And I would approach people and say, hey, you listen to hip hop? And they would say, yeah. And I would say, well, this is my new CD. The Streets is on Fire, hottest mixtape out on the streets. And they'd be like, really, that's your CD? And I'm like, yeah. They'd be like, how much you want for it? So I was selling it for $5. If they didn't have five, I'd take whatever I could get, three, five. Some people gave me an extra tip and gave me more than just five. And all the, and uh, maybe, but he said nobody buys CDs anymore. Okay, so I, I came to find out through my strategy of selling that one in every 10 people that I approached on the streets would purchase a CD from me. And some people were so happy that they could find a guy who was actually selling CDs on the street that they would give me an extra, they would give me an extra tip. And because a lot of people are not selling CDs like this anymore. Okay, so I, I noticed something else. Um, he said, nobody is selling CDs anymore. I, I went to a store, I think all y'all may be familiar with this. It's a store called um, Target. Some people call it Target. I walked into Target and I went to the electronics section and I'm looking at these big TVs, right? Cause I was trying to get ready to buy me a new TV from all the sales I made through my merchandise. And I saw the one I like, but before I saw that one, I noticed something. I keep hearing something over and over again on one of the TVs. You know what it is? What I was hearing? I was hearing advertisements. And what was people advertising? They were advertising their, you guessed it, their new CD. I heard one guy say, you know, my name is such and such. It was advertising a country western CD. I got my new country western album out. It's on CD. It's called such and such, and you can buy it in the store right there. So their whole idea was to catch you browsing and advertise their CD and entice you to buy the CD while you were in the store. Then, I, then after that country western CD advertisement went off, another guy group came on. They were doing pop music, uh, something like Kids Bop. So yeah, it was something like that, Kids Bop. And they were saying, yo, this is the new CD. It's out right now. This, you know, it's, it's, here's a sample of it. And they were playing the music in the background and then people were bopping along like this. Then I'm like, okay. Then all of a sudden, right after that, it was Madonna had a new album and she was advertising it. She must have put a lot of money into this advertisement. It looked, it looked excellent. It looked awesome. It looked, it looked terrific. When you saw the advertisement, it made you just want to grab that CD right now and take it home and play it and, and stuff like that. So if nobody is buying CDs anymore, you know, this is a strange question. Why are these people putting so many millions of dollars into advertising CDs in Target? You know what I'm saying? But don't. But Damien Keyes says nobody's buying CDs anymore. But why are the top these top music performers are advertising their CDs in one of the top stores? You know why? Because people are buying CDs. Yeah, they're still buying CDs. Okay. So this CD sold a lot, and actually the CDs are still selling by the thousands of dollars, and they sold so much that I have to open my own website because I can't reach everybody on my own. I have my own website. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. It's called vlathehustler.com. So that is my name. And um, another thing that sells well is merchandise, like the hats right here and also the t-shirts. So you can get all of my merchandise at vlathehustler.com. Uh, what's the second lie that Damien Keyes told everybody? He said, no new cars have CD players in them anymore. I just bought a new 2020 Toyota Camry Sports Edition. And guess what it had in it? I'm, I'm gonna wait a few seconds and see if y'all can guess. <sighs> okay, you guessed it. It has a CD player in it. That's right, there's plenty of new cars. If you go on Google right now, or just freeze this tape right now, go on Google and type in new cars with CD players, new 2021 cars with CD players in them. Let me know what you find. Don't tell me right now. Just type it in, type it in the uh, comment section. Type in the name of the cars in the comment section. Now, now you know if you watch Damian Key's video, he said new cars don't even have CD players anymore. But I want you to do your due diligence and I want you to take it upon yourself to go to Google right now and type in new cars for 2021 with cd players in it and tell me what you see and 
you will see that yes, there is new cars with CD players in them. So what he said on the second statement was a complete and total lie. Um, is it worth it for you to make money? I mean, is it worth is it worth it for you to sell CD? He's saying that the CDs are not sales are not substantial enough for you to even consider that as a form of income. Is that true? No, it's not true because I I'm, I sell CDs all in the summertime. I was selling CDs all week long. One in ten, I made more than enough to to. Uh, you know, replace any type of job that I ever had before. Then on the weekends, I take the CDs and I go to a flea market. I have a stack of them on a table. You know, a flea market is a place where people sell stuff old and used. Now I would have a stack on the table and I would have my Bluetooth speaker and I'd be playing the music and people would be like, yo, is that your music? And I'm like, yeah, that's my new CD right there. And they're like, you selling it? How much is it? And I'm like, it's only, so I got like, I got like, a, I asked for a certain price. If they had a little bit more, they would give it to me. If they if they didn't have as much, then I'll work something out with them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm also selling merchandise. So sometimes I would do a combo where I would give them like a t-shirt, a CD, or a, a hat, a t-shirt, and a CD. And um, they would be happy. They got the whole package deal. They got the whole experience in one pop. You know what I'm saying? And I got money, cash money in my hand. Now, there's also another, another argument is that people are not gonna buy your CD because nowadays everybody has their music online. So I had one guy walk up to my table and he said, that's your CD for sale? And I said, yeah, he said, I know you, I saw you on YouTube. And I said, what do you think? He said, yeah, you're pretty good. And I said, well, what's good? He said, well, why should I buy your CD if all your music is on YouTube? And he's right about that. Why should anybody buy your CD if you're putting all your music on YouTube or on social media or on all the streaming sites, but that's the problem. Why are you putting all your music on streaming sites? Why don't you just give them a snippet of your music? Or why don't you just put some of your music on streaming sites? Then you can at least try to make some money selling physical items like I do. So my reply to the guy was, well, the problem is all my music is not on YouTube. All of my music is not on the internet, period. Um, a greater majority of my music is online where you can actually order it. And a lot of my music is on, is on a CD. Like this CD right here is not available online. So you can't say, oh, I might as well just go online and buy it. Or I can go online and hear it for free, but this is not online for free. So don't give away all your stuff for free if you're trying to get paid. I mean, they have the streaming sites uh, for sure. But in order for you to get paid, I mean, how great is the streaming site? You got you got all these people. You got DistroKid and you got CD Baby, which you can make you can get with them and get your music on all the streaming sites. But problem is they take like three months to pay you. Who wants to sit on the wait three months to get paid? And even if you got all your music on all the streaming sites, you really have to get a tremendous amount of streams in order for you to get a comfortable pay. Where you could just be sitting back chilling. You say, for example, you got 2,000 streams on your new song, and you're like, Yeah, I got 2,000 streams on my new joint. Now I'm saying, I'm chilling, I'm getting paid. And um, is that great? No. You know why? You're probably only going to get about $7 for, for each 1,000 streams. So you made 2,000 streams that month on your new song. So you got $14. What are you going to do with $14? Wow. It's like, your dreams of having a Lamborghini and a mansion and a diamond necklace and you know, white gold necklace and all that stuff is just not going to happen anytime soon if you're relying on streaming sites. But if you sell physical products like t-shirts, hello hats, and CDs, physical, you're going to get money, cash money right in your hand. So some of my boys is like, yo, V, why are you telling everybody to sell the CDs? You're already getting money. Now you're going to have all these people competing with you to sell their CD. Now you're going to be getting less money. But the reason I'm, tell I'm telling everybody this is because there's thousands of people out there and they're looking around for somebody who's selling a CD and they can't find people because everybody keeps trying to put their stuff on streaming sites for free, which is so silly. They put in their mixtape on a website that's giving away their mixtape for nothing. All of that hard work that you've done and you're not getting paid a, not even a one red penny for any of that. And that is so stupid. 
And um, he, Damien Key said, well, we have to figure out a way to get people to go listen to your music and pay for you. They're not gonna pay for your music if they can get it for free. You just have to uh, put your foot down, sell your physical items like CDs and uh, DVDs. And yes, there is people still buying all these things and just get your money. Don't listen to him. He's, he's not living in reality. I mean, I don't know what kind of city or town he's living in where nobody is just buying CDs at all. It's like, what kind of people are not buying no CDs at all? It's just stupid to me because because you want to have something physical that you can touch and that you can take with you. I mean, I don't know where he's living at, but every city that I have visited, I went to New York City, I went to Atlanta, I'm in, I'm in Asbury Park, New Jersey, every major city, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, I sold CDs in all of those major cities. Somebody somewhere in there in one of those cities had a CD player and one in 10 people did buy the CDs from me and it is a sustainable form of income. And if you wanna have cash money coming in, there's no other way around it. If you're an independent artist, you have to sell physical items like hats, t-shirts, CDs. Okay, so to back all of that up, I want you to remember this date, March the 5th, 2021. Anyone who buys uh, any CDs or any merchandise from VLAthehustler.com, I'm going to pick out one of you and I'm going to announce your name on YouTube because I'm going to award you $1,200. You heard it right. So if you go to my website right now and purchase, uh, download a CD or purchase any type of merchandise, you will automatically be entered into a contest to win $1,200. Fuck a ruse, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you spread this, share this video with all your friends. And March the 6th, that's on a Saturday, I'm gonna announce the winner at 3 p.m. on March the 6th. That's on a Saturday. And I want y'all, no, I'll make it, I'll make it 8, 8 p.m., okay? So everybody will be settle down by then. I don't want you to stop your activity. You're going to count on me. But anyway, March the 6th, 2021, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the contest. $1,200. Anybody who buys any merchandise from my website, if you don't want to buy any merchandise from my website, that's fine. There's plenty of people already buying merchandise on my website. So anyway, look forward to new music videos. Look forward to new freestyles coming soon. Leave it in the comments section below did you i want you to i want you to let me know something when y'all go to target and walmart do y'all see any cds being sold in there i want you to leave that in the comments below also i want y'all to believe in the comment if anybody out there has a car from the year 2012 all the way to the year 2021 do you still have a cd player in that car i want y'all to tell me that and um hmm, i guess that's that's pretty much it right there so Damien Keys, you stop telling lies to people saying nobody's buying. And I'm not trying to hate on this, but selling CDs and all physical items is a good form of income. And yes, somebody can do it full time. And no, we don't have to give away all of our music for free online. And no, we don't have to sit there and wait for three months for them to just pay us that little bit of pennies that we're gonna get from the streaming sites because we don't have a connection or we're not on a, uh, a playlist that's gonna get us so-and-so millions of plays. Or uh, if you're not getting millions of plays every week or every month, you're just not getting paid from these streaming sites. So it just doesn't, it's not gonna be worth it until you get to that level. You know what I'm saying? When you get to that level, it's gonna be all gravy. But if you're not on that level, you have to sell physical items. If you don't, you're just playing a game and you're not getting paid at it. You might as well just not even get serious at it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it's been your boy, VLA The Hustle. Don't forget, don't forget that date, March the 6th, 2021. I'm gonna announce it at 8 p.m. The winner of the $1,200 for uh, automatically being entered into the $1,200 contest when you purchase any merchandise on VLAthehustler.com. All right. Holla back. I'm going to be coming back with some newer and better, more improved stuff. Peace.